Now I'm in exceptional physical condition with some money, style, charisma, and I'm starting to have some fame with women. It was... Uh, I am was always fat with zero women around, and for me that was something new. Well, congratulations. I haven't lost my B card, and I've had two chances, but they, that didn't seem to work right then. I was so nervous that my heart seemed to burst out of my chest. Yeah, well, that's to be expected. That's pretty common. It's your first time, mate. I did some testosterone tests just in case everything was perfect, and that's, yeah, 19, you will be fine. <laughs> you didn't even need to do that. Uh, I continued to have those spontaneous erections in history class, like you say. Haha, <laughs> told you you're fine. It was just that moment that for some reason it didn't work out. It's nerves, my friend. I'm telling you right now, it's nerves. Uh, I also feel that with my radical change, women think that I am experienced and the best at sex. I also have that pressure to perform perfectly in line to their expectations. Well, you are putting those expectations on yourself uh, by thinking that. You don't actually know what any woman is ever thinking. Um, that's a project. It's called projecting. Uh, you are projecting your thoughts onto her and thinking she's applying them to you. So that's what's going on right there. Uh, what I got to. I've I have rejected several women for fear that it would not work and perform well, and they would lose all respect for me. Uh, I left porn eight months ago. Good, well done. I bought all your digital ebooks and have a six pack of five balls and the other and the other six, extra six to help me with all this. My question is, what advice would you give me so that I can leave those nerves and pressure to finally have sex with a woman? I really admire you and I try to learn everything I can, which is a lot. Thank you for everything you do for all of us because. Uh, thanks to you, masculine has come back and you're creating a strong society of men. Looking forward to hearing your answer. So, what advice would you give to me so that I can leave those nerves behind and the pressure to finally have sex with a woman? Well, first of all, I'd say, find, um, you, ideally, best case scenario would be to actually find a woman that you would turn into your first girlfriend. Um, I personally think that would be a better experience. Uh, to lose your virginity with someone who you could have like follow up sex with, so, like so it wouldn't just be a one and done, wham bam, thank you man, one one night stand kind of situation. I'd say if you want to lose your to lose your virginity um, in a in a good way, in a way that's like I mean, there's not really a I mean, not to say if you if you just had a one night stand with a girl or you, it was a one off or it was a fuck buddy situation, it's not the end of the world. I'm just trying to give you the best possible scenario I, in my opinion and that would be finding a girl that you could actually date and have a be a turn her into your girlfriend and then have sex with her lose your virginity to her and then you can have and you can then you can get experience with sex and with women or with a woman and learn the female body and she can you know, learn you and, and you, you'll you'll just be able to grow and learn a lot more with your first girlfriend than with just having a one-off Rand or just having a fuck buddy who occasionally you have sex with, um, especially because this is such a new area for you. Yeah, I just think that's a better option for a start. So now, how do you lose lose the nerves and pressure to finally have sex with a woman? Well, that is one way of doing it. Is like, okay, well, you pursue a woman who you you, you vet a woman for, to, for, to meet your criteria to be you know feminine, submissive, beautiful, to be your girlfriend. And the fact that this is going somewhere kind of takes a lot of the pressure away because you it's not just gonna be one and done. It's gonna you're gonna have sex numerous times. Like when you eventually do have sex with her, it's okay, cool. Even if it's not the best the first time around, you're gonna have follow up sex at sessions and you're gonna learn how to please her body, how, and she'll learn how to please your body and it'll turn into a better thing. So it takes all the pressure away of having to perform and you know, give a 10 out of 10 performance on the first go. Also understand that everyone is shit at sex the first time they have sex. So you're not like, you have to really take this own pressure off yourself because you're, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure by putting all this pressure on yourself. Um, the two things you can bring to the table, there's only really two things you can bring to the table as a virgin. And that is uh, curiosity and enthusiasm. That, those are your tools, that's what you can bring. Now, at your age, the girls you're, you're with are probably also virgins as well. So she's going to be just as, you know, uh, lost <laughs> in that scenario as you are. So that's something to consider as well. But enthusiasm and curiosity are what you bring to the table in that scenario because you don't really know what you're doing. 
but you can at least ex be curious and explore her body. You know, like touch it, feel it, cuddle it, whatever. Lick it, kiss it, enjoy it. You can bring enthusiasm. And you can you can be excited and enth enthusiastic to for sex and, and, and uh, enthusiastic about everything she's doing to you and wanting to please her. So curiosity and enthusiasm of, of what you bring to the table as a virgin uh, in that scenario. Because apart from that, there's not much else. You haven't got experience. There's not much else you can do. So that's those are your those are things you bring. They are valuable. They are enjoyable for the woman. But I think a lot of the pressure that you're feeling is all entirely self-imposed. Uh, women are not like women, especially at your age, are not going to give a shit. Um, they're not going to expect much because they don't know. They they're virgins. They've never, they've never fucking had sex, or well, they've had maybe one guy, and he was trash. So like all the, all this this pressure you're building up is really self-imposed. Um, so. That's, that would be my advice to you, my friend.